as a black man, he's going to have hurdles. I, I mean, we know that, but he's going to overcome. Cedric Davis beams with pride as he talks about his son, Cedric Davis Jr., a student athlete at McMurray University in Abilene. He says he's glad his graduating senior continues to thrive, but to get to this point, Davis has had to have some tough conversations. Man, I think I really started having the first talk with my son when he turned 14, when he became a freshman in high school. And that's when I realized I have to start preparing him for real world of what to do and what not to do when you're stopped by a police officer. That same conversation echoing in homes of black American families all across the country. He know to put his hands on the steering wheel. He know to say, yes, sir, no, ma'am, yes, ma'am, no, the whole nine yards. He know to turn on his dome lights. He know to don't make any southern move movements. And like Davis, Waco City Councilwoman Andrea Bearfield says she had to begin early with that discussion for her two sons as well. You know, it's the thing when you transition from being cute to being a threat. And so I've never been anything but plain blatantly honest with my children to let them know that the world I love you your dad loves you our family loves you but the world may not love you simply because of what you look like even as a police officer clean PD's Kyle Moore though he hasn't yet is planning to have that talk with his three children I will have a discussion with uh, with my sons and my daughter uh, when they get of age like especially right around driving age uh, at middle school uh, going into high school. The same discussion his mother had with him as a high school senior in Colleen, he says he still remembers it vividly. If you do happen to get pulled over, make sure, you know, no sudden movements, keep your hands on the wheels. Um, and it sounds so weird to say, but ask for permission to do certain things. But a portion of the discussion more shared and continues to share with the community is that regardless of the circumstance, just make sure you do as asked, you know, you, you know, you don't fight those battles right there on the side of the road. I mean, you come home, you know. And if you feel an officer has done something wrong, go through the proper channels and contact supervisors, IA and things of that nature so we can hold officers accountable.